Hey everyone, sorry for not posting this sooner. So in short, there is a bug with the Suica watermelon game. And apparently if three of the same fruit collide on the same frame, all three get deleted. I really hadn't thought of this as a possibility, but multiple people have called it out. So if it's happening that often, then that means it would happen when people are playing the game too. So how do we keep the third fruit from being deleted? Because if you recall, the deletion is on every single fruit that's involved with the collision. Well, in short, we just need to count how many fruits are being collided at the same frame. So the way we do that is we're going to create a new variable. So if you recall, we have two scripts. We have cloud and we have fruit. So cloud I'm basing using kind of like a GM object. And that is it's um, like a game master object. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a new variable on this. So static public int total call, so short for collision, you can call it whatever you want. So static, that way uh, it's accessible throughout the application. Public int, so we want it to be an integer because we want to count up one, two, three, to see how many fruits are being collided with, we don't need fractions. The name of the variable and that default, it's going to be zero. And we save that. So that now makes this available elsewhere. So again, the fruit conscript is attached to every single fruit. So this is where we want to track how many are colliding. So first, we'll, we need to do an increment for every collision. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a debug statement just so you see that it's working. OK, so let's do so in the I should have called this out. Sorry. So in the fruit section, we have on collision enter 2D. So this is where we're checking to see if two fruits are colliding, OK? And the way we know it to be the same fruit is we check the tag of the object that's being collided with and the tag of the game object the script is attached to, OK? So if this is a match, then what we're going to do is we're going to take that new variable, so cloudcon.totalcollision plus equals one. So we're incrementing it by one. Now, just to make sure that you know this works, we're going to temporarily put in debug, and then we're going to put in total collision. Oops, sorry. i uh, got to call out cloud con because that's where it's declared, and then total collision. I wasn't able to get the three fruits to occur. Again, for it to work, I'm sorry, debug log. I'm doing this kind of on the fly because it's only occurred to me how to fix this. OK, so we declared a new variable. We're incrementing it by one. And then we're going to print that increment. So what happens is you should see a, a one and then you should see a two, which means that if there was a third one, that one should come in at three. So again, I'm doing this to demonstrate rather than trying to do this over and over again to get three. If it works with two, then it should work with three. So we'll drop a fruit, drop a fruit, and then watch what happens down here. Bam, two. See, so it printed the first one, printed the second one. So if there's a third one, then it's reasonable to believe that the third one should print two. Now, since I haven't been able to get a third one to collide at exactly the same time, what we're going to do is we're going to add an if statement but we're going to check to see if it's the second one just to demonstrate that it works. OK, so we're not going to need the debug, but I'll leave it here in case you're having issues. So now that we've incremented, we now do if cloudcon dot total collision. So if it equals three, so in other words, we don't want the third fruit to be, uh, excuse me, if it's less than three, my apologies. So if the collision is less than three, then we do want this to go ahead and delete. And again, my apologies for kind of fumbling. This is kind of spur of the moment.
Okay, so it still worked. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to two. Now again, you don't want this. You don't want to do this value. You want to leave it at three because it's the third one that you don't want to be deleted. But since I haven't been able to get three to collide, I'll show you what happens if you reduce this to two. At that point, you should only see one of the fruit be deleted. And there you go. So one got deleted and it spawned a new fruit. So that means if this were three, it should work. So again, that's the final change. So not bad, three lines of code. So you create a variable to track a collision, uh, how many fruits are involved with the collision. And then you have a line of code that does an increment when the collision occurs. And then you check the value. If it's below number three, then these happen. And then the other thing that you want to do is you're going to want to then reset total collision back to zero because you want this to be used every single time. There's the collision. And so cloudcon dot total collision equals zero. Okay, so for those of you who are having the issue with the three fruit collide, please check to make sure that this works. But as you can see, based on the demonstration, it should because this value does indeed increase with each and every collision. Uh, we lower this to eliminate the second one, which means that if you have three collide and you have it set to the third one, then it should indeed uh, not happen. So again, we only added about four or five lines of code. So very, very simple. Uh, I, and I apologize that I did not think of this sooner because I actually didn't think this was gonna work. I've seen other times where you're trying to check the amount of collisions in a single frame and that I've had trouble resolving it, but I don't know if it's because it's a newer version of Unity and that was some time ago that I tried that. But it's working, so if, uh, if for some reason this does not work for you, let me know. But again, based on this example, it really should, because if it worked with two fruits, then it should really work with three. So I think that should about do it. If you have any questions, uh, please just uh, you know put it in the comments here. But I think I'm basically done with this one. I think uh, Suica Game has had its moment. Uh, I'm looking at maybe doing Exit 8. I see a lot of streamers doing that game, and it's basically an infinite hallway, kind of like PT type of game. So maybe that will be the next one that I put a demo up for. That would probably be just a single video, just how to do the infinite hallway. Okay, so that should about do it. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments. And I hope you found this useful. And please do enjoy the rest of your day.